The next version of OBS is slated to get some pretty big changes to the UI. I had the pleasure of talking to the OBS staff in person at TwitchCon, and they showed me some changes that are coming in the next update that none of you guys have seen before. And I've got it installed right here in my studio. New source menu, new audio mixer, some improvements to the way that docking works. These are the first meaningful changes to the UI in a really long time. Stop being cringe and paying full price for Windows with our sponsor, VIP SD Keys. You can get a Windows 11 license for as low as $21. Just use my code NUTTY at checkout to get them for 30% off. And if you want to get them for a little bit cheaper, you can get a Windows 10 key for $15, and those can be updated to Windows 11 completely for free. You can pay using a secure payment method like PayPal. They'll send you an activation code immediately, and then you can put that in your Windows settings, and you're good to go. Check out VIP SD Keys in the link down below. So the build I have today hasn't actually been released. This was sent to me personally by the OBS staff. So I, I'm the only one that has this build, unless you know how to compile it yourself. I don't actually know when any of these features are officially gonna come to OBS. It's still being worked on right now. So consider anything I show today to just be an early preview. But I have been told that you can expect some, if not most of these changes to come as early as the next version of OBS. I just have no idea when that will actually be. First up, there's now a new default dock layout. Instead of the scenes and sources going along the bottom, they're now along the side. Ooh. There's now a new way to add sources. Right now, whenever you add a source in OBS, you just get this cringe Windows 95 cascading style menu. That's been replaced with this new menu. It shows all the different types of sources along the side, but it also shows live previews of every single source that you've already added. If I wanna add a new camera, I just add a new video capture device and then click create. The next time I come into the source menu, you're gonna see that camera under existing sources with a preview of the camera itself. And you can just drag it onto your canvas. This is super useful if you have like five Brazilian cameras and you don't remember which one is which, or if you use a lot of source clones to turn your camera into like different shapes, you can quickly identify which source clone that you're looking for. This should also dramatically reduce the number of times that you guys ask me why your camera doesn't work because you added your camera twice in OBS instead of just adding it once and then selecting it from this list. We all did it one time, don't lie to me. When you first installed OBS, we all made that mistake. The live previews only refresh like once every couple seconds. It doesn't really slow down OBS either. I have like 350 sources in OBS and my OBS runs just fine. I do wish that they added a search filter for both the source types and the existing sources because it's a little bit harder now to find what I'm looking for just based on the name. So I'd really like to type in and then it just filters down the list. The audio mixer is also getting some big changes. For one, they're vertical now by default, the superior orientation. But more importantly, you can finally monitor sources directly from the mixer. You don't need to go through that cringe advanced audio properties menu. It's just one click and then you can monitor it in your headphones. Thank God. There's also a lot of little improvements to the way audio sources are displayed. Right now, if you hide an audio source in the mixer, it's really hard to unhide it. Basically, the only way to unhide an audio source right now is to remember what that source was, find it in your scene list, right click it, and then uncheck hide in mixer. Now, there's a little tab that tells you how many sources are hidden, and if you click on it, it temporarily shows your hidden audio sources with a label telling you that it's hidden. It's also possible to show inactive sources. Right now, if you have an audio source that is only in another scene, the only way to get that audio source to appear in the mixer is to switch to that scene. I do this a lot in my stream. I have a music source that only exists on my starting soon screen. And right now, I can't adjust the volume of that audio source without first switching to the starting soon screen, changing the audio, and then coming back. 
It's very annoying. I haven't found a way to reorder audio sources. I think that would be really helpful. I also hope they get rid of this advanced audio properties menu entirely. This thing sucks, okay? Nobody likes this. It would be nice if all of these options, the balance, sync, offset, move them to the main mixer and have them accessible from this dropdown somehow, especially the tracks. I want to be able to mute an audio source, but only for a specific track. I multi-stream to Twitch and YouTube, and sometimes I want to be able to mute an audio source just for my YouTube stream, but not my Twitch stream, if I'm like playing copyrighted music or something. It would be really nice if I could mute my music just for my YouTube stream right from the main audio mixer. I don't want to have to go to this advanced audio properties menu. I just want to do it from the audio mixer. There's been some improvements to the way docking works. This one's really hard to describe. You just need to try it when it comes out, but I'm sure you've all tried to move docks around in OBS and stuff just doesn't move where you want it to go. It feels a lot more robust now. The most obvious difference is you can now dock things on top of the main OBS preview. Thank the Lord. I'm so tired of the main OBS preview taking up so much screen real estate. If you're using something like Atom Vertical, for example, and you want to make your vertical canvas nice and big so you can see everything, you haven't been able to do that because the horizontal canvas always has to be on screen no matter what. That's not the case anymore. You can just drag your vertical canvas or any dock for that matter and drag it right over the top of your main canvas. Now, you still can't fully get rid of the main canvas, but you can at least hide it by dragging stuff on top of it. It works really well with the JR Docky plugin. JR Docky is a plugin I talked about in this video. It basically allows you to create these presets dock arrangements and then save them. So you can make a dock layout that maybe only shows your two OBS canvases, a list of scenes, and maybe your audio mixer, but then you can make another dock layout that has docks for all your different dashboards for multi-streaming. Well, that plugin works even better now because you can effectively get rid of that giant ass preview window altogether. Speaking of which, the preview window itself also got a few upgrades. Source snapping is a lot better. When you drag sources around on your canvas, it will now show a visual indicator of what that source is snapping to. You can also snap sources that aren't even touching each other. And again, you'll get this indicator to show what it's snapping to. It's really nice for getting your pixel perfect layouts exactly the way you want them. Cropping got an improvement as well. It does that thing that Meld Studio does where when you hold down the Alt key, it actually shows what you're cropping out from that source, which is really nice. And then just some general improvements to the way clicking and dragging sources work. Right now, OBS does this thing where you can click through sources and you end up moving stuff around that you didn't mean to, that's been fixed now. You also can't accidentally select sources if it's hidden anymore. If a source is hidden, you can't move it, which I like a lot better. And finally, the edit transform window. That got completely overhauled. If you're like me and you're super anal about everything being pixel precise in your layout, you're probably really familiar with this window. If you right click a source and go to transform edits, you can manually adjust the exact pixel position and alignment of each source. Well, that positional alignment dropdown has been replaced with this nice little nine grid visual indicator thing to show the actual anchor point of that source. If you change the positional alignment of a source, it actually recalculates the X, Y coordinates to keep everything in place so your source doesn't go flying around all over the place trying to ruin your life. The bounding box types have also been renamed. We are really getting into the minutia and I'm sure you all don't care anymore. Are you still there? Did you switch tab? Go stop playing Arc Raiders and pay attention to me. Overall, I'm really loving these new UI changes. We've needed these changes for years, especially with Meld Studio coming onto the scene and showing us that a good looking UI that's functional and works great is actually possible. I think OBS is due for a major UI overhaul. I do think something needs to be done about these two docs. They just, they just look really out of place with the new UI. I think the OBS devs are thinking about replacing the scene transitions doc and controls doc with a simpler, cleaner toolbar, kind of like how Streamlabs does it. That would be really nice. 
I also think some kind of context aware side menu would be really nice. You know how when you can right click a source and change the show and the hide transition for the for that source? I hate that. It would be nice if you could just click in the source and then like a menu pops up from the side and then it has all these options there instead of you having to do everything from the right click menu. But the biggest thing that I think needs to be figured out, multiple canvases. OBS just implemented a new multi-canvas system, except there's no way to actually use it right now without installing a third-party plugin like Atom Vertical. The problem is right now with multi-streaming becoming a lot more popular, they really need to figure out a way to implement multi-canvases in OBS without completely cluttering the UI. I do not like the way that Atom Vertical adds like four new docs to OBS that you somehow need to fit onto one monitor. That's that's just two canvases. Imagine you had like three or four. They really need to implement some kind of tab system where depending on what canvas you have highlighted, the scenes and sources dock are like context aware. So they'll only show you the scenes and sources for the canvas that you have selected. But those are just my ideas. I'm curious what your frustrations are with the OBS UI. If you have an idea, Leave it in the comment down below. That's not comment bait, by the way. I'm actually, I actually want to know because the OBS staff, they are going to watch this video. And if they don't, I'm going to time down and say, you have to watch it because I worked hard on it and I want you to implement some of my ideas. Anyway, join the Discord, follow me on Twitch and do all that other cool stuff. And I'll see you guys next week or maybe next year, whenever I decide to make a video.